Right? In this video, we will talk about how to use text box in graphical user interface in MATLAB. Open MATLAB. Type guide for uh, opening up the graphical user interface editor. And so it will take time. We'll open the, our existing GUI, GUI which uh, we were making uh, in the last video. So up to the last video, uh, we have created up to like two buttons were there. And uh, when we press one button, our image is being displayed. And we press uh, another button, the uh, random waveform uh, was being displayed. So in this video, uh, we will uh, move to our next uh, thing, which uh, we need to know is the added text. So added text is uh, generally used uh, to take the user input uh, from the GUI as well, and uh, as well as to display the output to the user depending on certain conditions occur. So again, uh, like last time, we will first double click on this and we will check uh, what are the various other properties of it so the main properties in it are number first is a string so whatever uh, data is uh, written there in a string field that will be displayed here so if we go here and if we delete all the data clear all the data and then ok so the data whatever was present there that will be uh, washed off similarly the next was the tag similarly we can uh, rename this uh, to as uh, test edit or any other tag depending on our application so for timing these two uh, information is uh, quite sufficient for working with it and now we will save it now we will go into the callback of uh, this string uh, the callback of this string view callback this is the callback of that string our text added save now first thing we need to know how we will acquire the data whatever uh, the user enters uh, at this text box so for getting uh, a data uh, we have a term get command get and we will use that get command here so get now handles like we discussed dot test underscore edit now the field name uh, whose value we want to acquire so that was the string and that's it so what this instruction will do whatever uh, whenever the data will be entered into that into the text edit uh, this instruction will uh, uh, fetch that data and uh, will be all allocate that data into variable a so now we will try to run uh, we will try to run this uh, gui and we will write here search in so on the command window it is displaying here because we didn't put a semicolon here so whatever the value of a that will be displayed here if we press one one is being displayed one two three four anything we enter through this text box that will be uh, uh, that will be allocated into the memory of a so that was one thing uh, like how to acquire on the entered data uh, for the programming part so this is how this can be done the next thing comes into the picture is how we will set the data of the string to display uh, a specific string or a specific word to the user depending on certain conditions occur so what we will do now uh, whenever we press this jcb arrow button a uh, message will be displayed here and that could be like welcome and if we press this push button then uh, some other message will be displayed here uh, that will be like matlab gui so we'll try to uh, make this 
बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट दिस कंडीशन अगर डिपेंड दिस टेक्स्ट अगर ऑन ऑन द हैपनिंग ऑफ द इवेंट वेन दिस जे सी बी आर ओ बटन इज बिंग प्रेस सो फर्स्ट वी विल गो टू द कॉल बैक ऑफ दिस जे सी बी आर ओ एंड आफ्टर दिस आई एम शो कमांड वी विल पुट सेट सेट कमांड इज यूज टू सेट पर्टिकुलर टू पर्टिकुलर प्रॉपर्टी वैल्यू टू आई स्पेसिफिक वन सो अगेन हैंडल्स डॉट टू आइडेंटिफाई लाइक टू विच ऑब्जेक्ट वी आर ट्राइंग टू एक्सेस सो डेट वॉज टेस्ट अंडर स्कोर एडिट एंड देन वी वॉन्ट टू सेट द स्ट्रिंग पार्ट ऑफ इट सो स्ट्रिंग प्रॉपर्टी एंड देन द स्ट्रिंग नेम विच वी वॉन्ट टू सेट सो लाइक वेलकम एज वी जस्ट सेट and uh, when we press this second button we'll go to the callback of this second button that is i think just jcb this is the callback of the second button and we will put the value of set or uh, you can identify your uh, specific callbacks by their tag names so it's uh, um, everything is uh, optional or depending on the uh, depending on the application which you want to make so handles dot test not test underscore add it comma again we are trying to change the string part of it and now we will put certain other string like uh, mm my name as well sachin sharma so everything is done now we will try to run this code and if we press a jcbr o a welcome sign is being displayed here and if we push a push button oh one error is there like uh, oops the name mistake was there now when we press jcbro welcome sign is there when we press push button such and such is there so this is how we can uh, use this text button uh, uh, to display a particular message and uh, to fetch uh, the data uh, whatever data is being entered by the user and we can also interface uh, uh, this text box depending on uh, uh, depending on any condition or like in this case we did uh, for the case of pressing a button so uh, through this uh, way we can easily design uh, our beautiful uh, gui uh, involving buttons and text box and graphs etc so that's it for this video thank you